What is going on people? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. Now I've got some good news and that is that I've recently landed a placement on LinkUp TV. If you're from America and you don't know what LinkUp TV is, it's basically a huge um, like UK rap, Afrobeat, trap kind of blog. Yeah, I've recently landed a placement with S Finesse. That's the guy's name. He's a rapper based in London. And yeah, he basically DM'd me about five or six months ago, interested in a beat that I made like literally over a year ago. But yeah, the reason why I am saying this is because I went through like a ton of old videos and I forgot that I actually vlogged me making the beat to the song that he made out of it. The only thing is, is that I posted that vlog back when I only had like 200, 300 subscribers. So I thought, why not revamp that footage, show you guys how I put that beat together, you know, literally from the chords to the drums to the bass, like I put everything in there. And yeah, it turned out to be a hit. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to roll that footage back for you. Before I do though, if you are a producer, I've recently announced a beat contest for all producers. Anyone can sign up. It's totally free. So if you want to be part of that and you want to know how to enter, go and check out my most recent video uh, and you can see all the details on how to get into that. Uh, but yeah, let's dive into this video. Okay, so we've got the train track sample. This was the original sound that I found. Okay, and then I've sort of played with the sound. I put it through new tone, just to flatten out the sound a little bit and just play with the tempo as well. It sounds like this. Kind of got that like grungy sound to it. Kind of like slowed it down and gave it like a grungy type of texture to it. But yeah, let's go make a beat from it. Have a bit of gross beat. I quite like that for the melody. That can be like the main bass of the melody. Now I'll just throw in like some drums and maybe add like a second melody for the chorus and we'll be there. Thank you. 
because that turned out pretty well. Let me talk you through what I did. I started out with that uh, sample. So we started out with this. Okay, but what I did with it was, um, if you don't know how to do this, this is really helpful when it comes to sampling and keeping everything in key because that's the main thing. I know how annoying it can be when you get a sample and no matter how much you play around with it, it just doesn't sound right. And the reason why it doesn't sound right is probably because it's out of key. So even with this sort of percussive sound, it does have a tone to it. So what I did was take the original sound. So what you'll see if you detect the pitch is look at all these different keys that this, this is played in. So you got C, G, sharp, F, G, A, you know, you've got loads there. So the best way to get around how I fixed the tone of it was I opened up New Tone, which is like a, it's kind of like an auto tuner, but it's very manual. So like a lot of people don't like to use it, but when you're playing with samples like this, it's really, really useful. So open up New Tone, drag the sample from there into there and it'll drop straight in. Obviously I've chopped it up a little bit. So I've got the section that I wanted and then it comes up with all these tones. So like all these tones were all over the place like this. But all you do is literally drag them all up to C. So you're in a flat note like that. Uh, and that's literally what I did to it. So I flattened it out like that, played with the tempo a little bit. So it just came through, you know, and it hit on beat. And then like you've seen, I just played around with some chords and stuff like that. So I came in with these chords. Some simple chords. And then I just duplicated those chords and added some gross beat on there. Okay, and then when you bring those original chords back on top, Gives it a nice bounce. And just play this really simple melody over the top of it. And then that's where we come in with the drums. So really basic hi-hats, solo them. And then what I did to give it a bit of variation and give it a bit of bounce was layer those up. So I came in with another hi-hat, just a little and then laid up again. Like that. And you bring everything back together. So I mean, gives it a nice little bounce. Came in with the snare. Laid up that snare. Open hat. Eight oh eight. And that was the whole beat. Like there wasn't that many elements to it. So, you know, if you are looking into trying to improve your sound, it's not about layering loads of stuff on top of it. I mean, that does help in certain situations, but when you've got a hard, solid melody, the drums, you know, they'll take care of themselves and you don't really have to overdo it. Okay, so that was that beat. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, like it was a real simple beat, literally like two different chords in the chord progression, real simple melody that I just played using the MIDI keyboard and then some real simple drums. And that was literally it. Uh, I think the main thing is that like getting the drums sounding hard, getting everything sitting in the right place is the key. You know, it's just putting everything together nicely is like the key to it. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. But yeah, I hope you guys like that beat. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and hit the like button leave a comment all the same stuff that i ask in every video that's all for today people see you guys in the next one